Hey guys, my name is David Doe. I'm an owner of a 2018 Honda Odyssey. I've been having a lot of issues with this vehicle. I just want to express to you before you purchase this vehicle, here are some issues that I've been having. We got this vehicle brand new, um, and the first issue we had was a door latch. The door latch actually swung open while uh, we were driving on the side where I had my infant child. So I have three kids door opens we hear a little snap door opens pretty big problem right you would think um honda would automatically just give you another vehicle or whatever they fixed it um the door latch is actually fine now but hey they're lucky enough i'm lucky enough my child's not uh dead right fast forward to that we live in orange county california we live on the northern side close to brea and la habra and one day, this is a crazy thought, we wanted to go to the snow. We bought all the snow equipment. If you guys know, if you guys have a, a family of five, even a family of three, buying snow clothes, not cheap. So we got all the snow clothes. We, we headed up to Big Bear, played in a little bit of snow, decided we we're hungry. Heading to the big city of Big Bear, right? All happy because we're about to hit the snow. Try to start the car, car won't start. Roadside assistant problem, lane keep system problem, uh, battery issue problem, uh, brake system problem would not start at all. So, ah, oh, crap, we're stuck. Call uh, AAA, I mean, call a Honda uh, roadside assistance, which is AAA. We'll be there in six hours, sir. We have no trucks up there. Okay? It's about 4 30 at the time. We're like, holy crap, what are we gonna do? It's freezing cold, right? It's freezing cold, so. Uh, fast forward, we're stuck up there for almost 11 hours or so, I, I believe. Uh, maybe 10, 11 hours. We're stuck in the freezing cold. I got my baby with me. I'm trying desperately to get an Uber. There's no reception for T-Mobile up there. I'm calling, I'm calling, I'm calling. No Uber fits us all. I'm trying to get double Ubers. And they say, no, sir, you have to stay with a vehicle in order for us to tow it. I was like, man, I'll leave you guys a key somewhere. My family's freezing. I got to get out of here. Um, but I had to stay with the vehicle. So we end up staying in the vehicle. The, the tow truck company says, we can't have babies in this car. Can't have babies in the car. Holy crap, right? So we're lucky enough we found somebody with a big Tahoe to, uh, to pick us up, right? So that big Tahoe fit all of us in. So about $450 in Uber charges to go down the mountain. I had to get a emergency hotel because there's no hotels in uh, Big Bear. No hotels down there. So we found one hotel in Redlands. So I end up spending like over a thousand bucks, right? Just for all that. We get to uh, Honda of Redlands. You know what they said? Sir, if you're going to go up a mountain, this car can't handle it because it has too much electrical components. Lane keep assistant, road, uh, whatever, departure assistant. Uh, of course your battery drain. I'm like, I don't think it's a battery, man. Because if it was the battery, Triple uh, A tried to jump start it and it wouldn't jump start. He said, "Well, we just change out the battery. You're fine. Uh, just carry a jump starter, which I have a jump starter in the trunk because this thing dies all the time. My vehicle dies all the time. Brand new vehicle dies all the time. I'm so utterly mad because I got kids with me, man. I can't have my car dying with me all the time while I got kids with me. It could be a dangerous situation sometimes. Fast forward." Less than 12 months later, guess what happens? Uh, uh, in uh, November, my battery died almost every single day. Battery number two. I make uh, I make an appointment. We take the vehicle into Honda Buena Park. They say, yeah, there's a lot of drainage coming from your uh, car. We can't figure out what it is. I'm like, finally, thank God, finally, somebody's going to fix this vehicle. A week goes by, I'm texting. They said, go ahead and text me back for uh, any kind of... Uh, I'll give you up there in the vehicle. I'm texting back. What's going on with my car, man? What's going on with my car? No text back. So I gave him, um, I gave him a review. I wasn't really happy with it. You know what I'm saying? Wasn't happy. I gave him a review of 40 something. I get a call that day from the manager saying, there's nothing wrong with your vehicle. We checked it. It meets all the Honda specs. There's nothing wrong with your vehicle. Right? I'm like, dude, I thought you said it was a drainage problem. Uh, it was a, I mean, a draw problem. It was drawing too much, uh, energy from the battery that's why i was dying did you guys fix that sir there's nothing wrong with your vehicle it meets all the honda specs we need you to come uh pick up your vehicle now before that conversation it was the sir you gave us a really bad review you know that affects all of us i'm not happy with the review come pick up your vehicle so now i'm pissed because you told me 
that there was something wrong with my vehicle. Why would you keep my vehicle for a week and a half with nothing wrong with the vehicle? Make no damn sense, right? So, um, he said, well, you just can't plug any USB chargers to your car. What? I can't charge my phone on my vehicle? That's crazy, right? I'm like, you could tell me it was a it was a bad charger or whatever, but you're telling me I can't charge nothing on the vehicle because that's my fault. It's David Doe's fault for the drainage problem. Hell no. I talked to you. Here it is. Look, check it out. Under 50 miles. Let's see what we got here. Honda. Look. Oh, under 50 miles. Lane keep assistant problem. Brake system problem. Road departure migration problem. My battery is getting drained like crazy right now. If you notice, uh, I want you guys to notice a mileage. 28241, okay? Look, 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 Honda. Whoa, nothing's being charged in the car. Nothing. And just to prove it, look what I have to carry because this car cannot handle a USB charger. Oh, battery bank. Because y'all forced me to carry a battery bank now because you can't charge this on there, right? In this death mobile, okay? Not my fault. Now let's look at the paperwork, fellas. Look at the paperwork. When was this car returned back to me? Let's see. Two, let's see. Come on, focus. I never have problems focusing with you, man. Come on. There it is. Out 28189. 50 miles. Underneath 50 miles, all my stuff's popping up. My battery's getting drained. Let's see what Honda had to say about it. Hmm. There it is. There it is. Check, uh, let's see, uh, inspected vehicle, tested vehicle battery. Battery is fine at this time. Measure draw, found 60 milliamps of draw. Contacted tech line. Now, why would you contact tech line if there's no issues? If you couldn't find nothing wrong with my vehicle, why would you contact tech line? And they advise 60 milliamps is not enough draw to drain the uh, vehicle's battery. Well, my battery is about to get jump started right now. No repair needed at this time. Thank you. Thank you. Look at this. Look at this crap. I'm about to jump start this car as soon as I turn it off. Honda. Help me. I have a family that owns nine Honda vehicles. And I'm not going to say that Honda made a terrible vehicle. I'm going to say my vehicle is terrible. Help me. I have kids. Not needing to jump start the battery. I have to forget to charge my jump starter. Not, uh, uh, and not getting stuck somewhere. Why are you putting me in these dangerous situations for? If I was going to Death Valley in the summertime, if I'm trying to go to another, uh, to, to another uh, state, stuck in the middle of the road, no, uh, no phone signal, I'm good as dead on this vehicle, man. Come on, help me out. I just want a refund. Or maybe a possibly like a, a, a earlier model Honda. Let's let's do something reasonable, but help me out. Quit saying there's nothing wrong with my vehicle. Help me out, man. Thank you guys. Comment below. What should I do? What should I do about this vehicle? Is there any way you guys can help me? I already contacted Honda um, corporate and they're kind of amazed that there's no uh, conclusion to this drainage issue either. So anyone work for Honda? Can you guys help me? Thanks. You guys have a great day. Pray that my vehicle does not leave me stranded somewhere. Bye.